Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel VBA code tutorials. Now in this video tutorial, I will show you how to bind or populate two dimensional arrays. I want to add the rows and columns, two dimensional arrays into your list box as well as a combo box also using VBA in user file. So let's start the tutorial. And here we got the final output. Notice here in the list box, the data we are getting from two dimensional array. We have created an array here also. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I have created one book one Excel sheet. First, we require one user forum. For that, go to developer. Under developer, there is a visual base. Click that one. Now, to create a user forum, go to insert menu, click user forum. And here we got the user forum. Let me expand this user forum as well as let me put this toolbox aside. Now, I report two controls. One is a list box. This is a list box. List box here. And I require one combo box also. Sorry. It's not combo box. Delete, we record the combo box. Now my aim is I will create two dimensional array. Those arrays I want to bind in this list box as well as the uh, combo box also. So select the user form, right click the mouse, go to view call. Now here we've got the default user form click event. Let me delete this uh, default events we don't require. Now user form we require the initialize event, initialize event. Now first I'm declaring an array, dim, my array, my array takes two parameters because it's a two dimensional array. So one, two, three. So this one, one, two, three is a rows for the rows and one, two, three is for the columns as string data type now my array and notice here the intelligence showing the question marks here the method my array takes rows and columns the first one first row comma and second uh, second parameter is the first column the first row and first column i want to display my name charan and my array and first row second column I want to display Jack my array um, second row first column is Peter my array second row second column I'm adding the trunk. my array here i have declared one two three so i can create three rows and three columns so let's add second row and third column i'm adding some uh, ben now i want to bind this array to a list box so list box one dot list list is equals to the data we are getting from my array so my array now uh, the most important step is when you are dealing with the list boxes by default it will show only the first row if you want to display multiple rows and columns uh, multiple columns we need to add the list box one dot uh, column count is equals to three um, and also combo box one dot list is equals to list is equals to my array combo box one dot again we need per the columns also by default the combo box displays only the single row we require a single column if you want to create multiple columns we need to add the column count is equals to three that's it let's check the final output and here we got the final output notice here in the list box 
the data we are getting from two dimensional array we have created an array here also that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to create the two dimensional arrays and populate data into a list box and the combo box vba code using vba code in the user forum thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel catch you in my next video tutorial